This video we've entitled, What is a VUR and how does it work? A VUR is an air navigation system. First, a quick disclaimer. I'm not a certified flight instructor, and I'm making this as an information-only video. With the advent of GPS, most air navigation is being done that way. However, the VOR system still exists. Developed in the 1960s and used worldwide. It's used for what are called airways, kind of like highways in the sky. So what type of VORs are there? There are several types of VORs. The standard VOR, the VOR DME, and the Vortac, which is most common in the United States. So what is a Vortac? A Vortac is a radio-based navigational aid for aircraft pilots consisting of a co-located VHF Omnidirectional Range, or VOR, beacon, and a Tactical Air Navigation System, TACON, beacon. If we look at a chart, it looks something like this. Looking closer in, you'll notice that this particular Vortac is known as Oshkosh, or OSH. And according to the chart, its frequency is 116.75, and its CWI identifier is OSH. So how does it work? It's quite a unique little system. Think of a VOR as two separate transmitters. It produces a pulse, followed by a complete revolution of all the antennas on the VOR. Those are those little round dots that go all the way around the VOR. It actually looks something like this from the aircraft, similar to a radar. So from the aircraft side of things, they punch in the frequency of the VOR, and then they use this which is called a CDI, or a Course Deviation Indicator, to tell them what way they have to go to that particular VOR. So the next time you go driving down the road and you see something like this, you'll know what it is. I hope this video has been helpful. N73 from N9LVS.